Hi, it's Mark Langley with the National Public Safety Drone Donation Program. I'm in here with Woody McClendon. He's with uh, Loft Dynamics, and they have a very slick flight simulator here for helicopters. Uh, we're here at AppsCon uh, for the whole week, and we've been taking classes and walking around checking out the technology. And I had a chance to meet Woody. Uh, Woody actually is a helicopter pilot, right? Correct. Tell us about your history, where you, what, what you did. Well, I learned to fly when I was young. And, uh, and was instructing by age 19, yep. the aeronautical engineering degree. Yeah, yeah. and uh, went to work at Boeing flight test for a few years. Okay. Then wanted to really fly as a pilot. So I left there and ended up at Hughes okay. Helicopters yeah. as a sales guy. And then after that, it was sort of a great fun mix of helicopters, corporate jets, all the way up through challengers and international trips so are you strictly helicopter pilot or you do fixed wing as well no i'm also a challenger pilot okay very challenger cool. learjet uh plaza yes okay very cool right. very cool so yeah anyway so it's been you know great chunks and not very well organized okay around all of that all right and uh how long you been with uh the loft dynamics three months three months Okay, so what attracted you to Loft Dynamics? Uh, I mean, they got quite the setup there. I was watching uh, someone yesterday, and it, it seemed to be very responsive. I actually want to sit in that thing and check it out. So I spent 10 years with flight safety uh, before this. Okay. And, uh, and I was in sales doing new helicopter programs on helicopter simulation training. And there's a huge gap in our industry for simulation training. Flight safety simulators are uh, too, too expensive. Yep. And, um, and and so we fit right into that need that the helicopter community has yep. for simulation training. I was at APSCON last year in Reno, and you weren't there. This is your first year at APSCON, from what you told me? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So they had flight simulators last year, but they were very static. It was just a screen. But this one is very interactive. It's, it's got all kinds of actuators. What you stick input is what that pretty much kind of gives you feedback. It gives you a real feel of movement. Right? Exactly. Okay. Very exactly. Good. So we went to a couple of classes to the, uh, this week, and um, there's a lot of helicopter pilots here, as you'll see in our videos, uh, in our Instagram posts. There's a lot of helicopters here, and these are amazing tools for public safety. Uh, with the payloads that they have with thermal imaging and having the ability for pilots or pilots in training to fly something like this and get, uh, so can you actually get pre-certified in something like this or how does that work? Some SIMs you can. We're working on an FAA SIM, uh, certification program, okay. Mark, that we hope to have done and soon. Okay. And then uh, that'll fill in some niches that we currently can't serve. Okay. Uh, we can serve the bulk of flight helicopter flight training in our current state of certification. Okay. So that's an important point. So question for you, uh, if a department came to you, a PD, and they said, uh, we want to train our guys, is this something they rent, something they buy? How Do they pay for hourly time? How does that work? Well, so us as a small company, uh, we're, we're sort of at the point of sale is is our primary goal okay <clears throat> we are going to set up a a demo and training center in santa monica california okay i've been out there yeah. very beautiful yeah, like right after this convention okay this trainer is going to california going to california right very so cool. we'll be offering hourly training there to Excellent. uh so mainly southern california airborne law enforcement and i gotta ask you what's the price point on that bad boy uh for, for the this for trainer? that simulator uh, it's about nine hundred thousand. okay all right but uh, you know, it's if it's realistic, it actually has real value to the uh, to the departments that are going to train in that. Because I saw a guy um, yesterday, and he was landing, and actually gave like the feel of touching down, and it was really cool. Yeah. So it's technology like <clears throat> what uh, what they're offering here uh, that really helps make a difference for public safety. So um, if you're a department that's seeking to have a flight simulation for helicopter pilots. Why not contact Woody and his company? I can put you in touch, or you can look them up, uh, Loft Dynamics. Uh, seems like a great product. And you're from what uh, country again? I'm from... You're from this country. Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma, but the company? 
uh, Zurich. Zurich, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. You know, the Swiss make good products, mm -hmm. and this is really uh, an amazing, amazing thing. I was watching the screen. It's very, very realistic. So like, subscribe our channel, share this video with uh, those who uh, may have some interest. And we ask you to please, uh, if you're a department looking to buy drone technology or you have old drones on the shelf, why not contact us? We can uh, provide best possible pricing for uh, uh, 107 pilot classes and drone hardware and software. But we also will take old drones and we have over 300 departments now waiting, about 250, 300 departments waiting for drone assets. I thank you for your time and, and, and allowing you. me to interview you. This thank is you, really good. This is great. My pleasure. And I hope you get that coffee that you're looking for. I always have faith. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, and check out our, the rest of our videos. Excellent.